It is said that clothes speak volumes about a person's personality and taste. However, in medieval Europe, dress codes were imposed upon different classes of people of the society. Their clothing styles were strictly regulated by class, gender or status in the social hierarchy. From 1294 to the time of the French Revolution in 1789, there existed laws that were strictly followed by the French. These laws were known as the Sumptuary Laws. These laws put restrictions on the lower classes of society. They prevented them from wearing certain clothes, consuming certain foods and alcohol, and hunting in certain areas. Strangely, in medieval France, the number of clothes that a person could buy in a year was also regulated. Regulation was based not only on a person's income, but also his social rank. Even the fabrics that people could use for clothing was governed by law. Only the royal class wore expensive material like ermine, fur, silk, velvet and brocade, which reflected aristocracy. While the lower classes were forced to wear clothes made from cheap materials. However, with the French Revolution, these existing dress codes began to vanish. Members of the Jacobin clubs proudly called themselves sans-culottes, meaning without knee breeches. They wore loose and comfortable clothes that distinguished them from the men belonging to higher classes and royal families who wore knee breeches. The colors of the French national flag, blue, white and red, were a common favorite to express their feeling of patriotism. Other political symbols too became a part of their dresses. Some of these symbols included the red cap of liberty, also known as the Phrygian cap, long trousers and the revolutionary Cockade pinned onto a hat. People now wore simple clothes to express their idea of equality. The French Revolution helped get rid of the restrictions of the sumptuary laws that had reinforced social hierarchies.